All right, Hazemega here. Another episode of uh, Hazemega uh, minivan AAR. Okay, so so this is the AAR for the uh, the megaphone, the Mojave megaphone ride. Okay, um, I'm not gonna lie, that ride was a lot more crazy than I thought it would be. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be easy. I'm like, oh yeah, we're just gonna follow this road and it's gonna take us there. Um, that that. That ride was definitely a case of uh, death by GPS, okay? <laughs> the, literally, the GPS will direct you there, okay? It was directing me there the whole time, okay? Almost. Um, once I got to the dunes, I was just like, oh, uh, you know. Um, so the KLX is out there chilling. See, see the KLX? There he is, right next to the light bee here. <laughs> He's taking a break because, uh, Kalex did a great job, okay? I'll tell you that. Um, it was 24.4 uh, miles was how much we rode. It, it was supposedly 11 miles to get there, I think. I think I made it there about 12 miles, okay? So I'm gonna go through it step by step. Uh, I did kind of want to take the light beat, and I'm glad I didn't because there was so much sand. I think the sand would have just overheated it or something, you know? Um, yeah, it was definitely a better idea to take the KLX. At least with the KLX, I didn't have to worry about running out of gas or running out of electricity. Okay, yeah, it was only 20 miles, so we had plenty of range left. Okay, so uh, I rode it to 50 miles yesterday, so we only used like less than half the tank. I bet the thing is a uh, very good. It, it's a, it's a the KLX is a good desert bike. You need to upgrade the suspension though. That rear shock just not good enough man i think i need a well i need a stiffer spring and i have to get it rebuilt or something i'm pretty sure i probably overheated it today because of sand whoops okay i'm gonna talk about that for a minute um all right so basically you go down this road rassar road okay for a few miles and then you get to the mojave intersection hades mega wanted to play around in the mountains and make the make it a more adventure you know a more adventurous challenging ride you know and uh and boy did i get it and and, it, and you know i didn't have to do that <laughs> I, if so if you keep on following rassar road down you wind up at this oasis okay i think it's 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 a ranch on the map or something okay and um and yeah so it, it was an oasis and uh it was um you could see like trees and stuff they had a swing out there and there's plenty of cool places to camp out there if you have a four by four that's for sure okay so um but yeah you keep on going down that road i think at some point you you drop into a kind of clearing okay there's there's a road a sand road that's a little bit whoopy just a little bit and then you drop down into this flat sandy area where there's like kind of like one dune there and then and then there's a bunch of like rocks that you can camp at and stuff and you you go through there and then and then eventually you'll get to an oasis okay and and then yeah you can tell it's an oasis because there's trees there's it's just the only trees you'll see in the freaking desert <laughs> so there must be water under there somewhere okay and then so you there's a there's a fire pit in there and some swings and i guess I guess the Girl Scouts wrote some note to keep it clean, okay? So once you get to the Oasis, you're at the dunes already, okay? <laughs> you're, you're at the dunes and, and you're gonna, you better get ready, you better put your dune riding cap on, you know? Your dune riding cap and sand whoop cap, okay? So... I kind of got lost. I tried to I tried to follow the GPS and and it you know uh, what should have happened is I should have just followed the fence line. There's a fence line that where the Mojave Preserve is. If you follow that, it'll take you straight to the megaphone. So that's what I should have done. Okay, but I didn't. I wound up playing around, uh, playing around in the dunes. Okay, I really wanted to ride in the dunes. I got a chance to ride in the dunes. Okay. We did some dune riding. It was, you know, some small dunes, and then, uh, and I basically, uh, if I ha if I didn't have my GPS, I would have got super lost. Okay, um, I was using my phone GPS and my Garmin GPS. I had the waypoint on. Uh, I programmed it into the GPS. Okay, and then uh, all I did was uh, put where to waypoint Mojave megaphone, and then and basically there there'll be there was a purple line that tells you like exactly where to go it's to your left to your right you know so i just kind of followed that you know i at some point it's just i didn't know where i was so i just did reckon i just started riding towards this freaking uh towards the line okay the waypoint um and then at some point you get to a railroad track 
okay and and that's your that's when you're past the dune section okay um, and then uh, you're at Crucero okay so when you're at Crucero there's no way to cross the tracks I found that out I was like dude you can't go over the railroad tracks you have to well there's no there's no thing where where you can just ride over the tra railroad tracks easily you have to jump the railroad tracks okay and that's when my camp battery camera ran out I, I kind of rode up and down the railroad a little bit and I was like nah there's no way to get over the railroad track man <laughs> so so I just came back and I was like all right we gotta hop the track so I uh, hop I so I hopped the track I did it I was like I was like man I it, hopping tracks is hard i'm not gonna lie dude but i did it and it actually wasn't that hard i got it over it and then i and then i, I gave it a little more throttle to get the front over the the second railroad track and i just rode over it it was easy and then but on the way back i got hung up i think i got a video of it here we go i hope a train's not coming oh, stalled it All right Just doing like a burnout on it. Here, pick it up sideways. Pick it out. But uh, yeah, I, I the the on the way back it wasn't so easy. I, I got up over it and then I got oh it fell in there, man. I was like, ah damn it. And then and then I was doing burnouts on the on the on the railroad track. I'm like, ah crap man. I'm, so I had to pick the bike up and then wheelie it over the other thing and then and then ride over it. So okay, that's what happened the second time when I had to go back. <laughs> So the next section is like a, another sand whoop section, okay? It's not a dunes. It's kind of like dunes, but it's just like sand whoops. Just a, it's a road that's whoopy, like lots of sand dune whoops and stuff. So it's just that for like a few miles. And then eventually you're just riding and riding and like you're just getting tired of riding these sand whoops. And then eventually you get really close to the megaphone. I, I couldn't see it. I didn't really know. I, I thought I, I thought it's pretty obvious where it is. You really have to look at the top of the mountain where it is, okay? It's literally up there. You cannot ride up to the megaphone. You have to like freaking mountain climb up to the megaphone, okay? I climbed all the way up to it. I was like, hey, I'm like, what the hell, man? I'm already here. Let's go check it out. So I took a bunch of pictures there. I, I drank some water at the top and, and then I, I head on that. It was easier going down than it was going up for sure. okay and then um and then yeah and then I, I rode around a little bit i took another picture and then i i hit it on back okay pretty much came back the same way tried to avoid as much of the whoops as possible but man those whoops i got a workout today that's for sure <laughs> no, so I, one thing's for sure uh for the improvements on the klx we need to improve the rear shock that rear shock is just not good enough man it's too soft it 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 bounces you know like that i guess the oil is overheating also so it gets even softer and it makes it worse so it's just not a very good rear shock the forks are fine um as long as you can if and if you can pull up on the bars just do pop a wheelie over all the the whoops you can do it but like i can only do it for so long <laughs> that's the problem i don't got enough stamina to do it man uh but yeah if you just pull up on the bars and just wheelie over all the whoops you can do that so uh, but, but I, you can bet i was trying my best to go around the whoops as much as possible like there's different there's lots of different paths and stuff so my my plan was to follow the fence line the way back because so, i was like oh if you follow this fence line that's mojave preserve that'll take you to the entrance of Mojave Preserve and I know where that is okay I know how to make my way back from there so all I did was follow that all endless freaking oh that's this is the dune section yeah we were too we were riding in the dune section the whoops and everything and then at some point you get to the oasis so you get back I saw the oasis I was like oh that's the oasis there you go so you could use that oasis as like a, a a waypoint, you know. That's so definitely that, that's that's a good place to, you know. Once you get to the oasis, it's it's Dune Dune City, baby. <laughs> so and then after that, I, I rode the road back to the Rassler Road, and I rode Rassler back, and I, I ripped it at like my wide open throttle. <laughs> okay, so 
so yeah that was it uh it was a lot harder than i thought it would i thought it was going to be an easy ride you know i would just be riding down this road and and then it turned into like dunes and sand dunes and stuff and yeah it was a lot more difficult than i thought it would be so if you got a, like an adventure bike or something i i wouldn't do it you have to hop the tracks too. think so just think about that if you can if you can't get your bike over railroad tracks don't do it like if you had like r1200 ds and you weren't comfortable jumping that beast over a railroad track then don't do it because if you get stuck there and a train comes your ass is you know no good okay would i do that in my dr no, I don't think I would even do that in my DR, man. I mean, I guess I could. You could, if you could pick the bike over. My suggestion is take a buddy with you. If you don't make it over to, if you don't, if you can't hop your bike over a track, um, just uh, just have a buddy help you pick it up over the tracks. It's, it's not that hard. The, the KLX is really easy. I knew if I got stuck, I would be able to pretty easily carry it over the tracks. If I had the light beat, it would have been even easier. So, okay, so that that's the hard part getting to the megaphone from from Rassor. Okay. Um, I think it would be a good dual sport ride. If you had like a middle, I, I would recommend a medium weight uh, dual sport, like a XR400 or even a lightweight dual sport, like a KLX 250. That would be perfect for this ride, okay? Um, something good in the desert, <laughs> something light, okay? Um, so adventure bike, I, yeah, yeah, I don't recommend. Maybe like a KTM like with, you know, fancy off-road KTM and stuff, but I, I wouldn't recommend okay if you're maybe like maybe a heavyweight dual sport if you're a pretty good rider you know but i rode a mini bike out there okay and, and i was ripping on it man <laughs> i was like wah, wah, wah. i was afraid the bike was going to overheat too because we were just i was just flogging it the whole time man um that little guy man that, that little bike works hard it's it's a hard little worker I, i'm really i'm actually really happy with the way the bike turned out i i feel like it goes through the gears way too fast though i wish i had another gear you know it just doesn't have enough torque it's just the engine is too small so okay all right thanks for uh thanks for watching that's the end of the uh the aar um that was the mojave megaphone ride i hope you guys enjoyed it um so tomorrow we'll be heading to dumont dunes and riding some dunes i kind of don't want to ride any more dunes <laughs> to tell you the truth man i got a dude i got to ride some dudes today and i kind of don't want to ride anymore dude. i've kind of i'm kind of don't want to ride any more sand dude <laughs> i'm just like oh but anyway um i think i'm good man um all right so that's the end of it i think i'm pretty much out of fuel i'm still charging the battery on the on the suron one of the batteries is almost done charging the other one i gotta charge so all right thanks uh thanks for watching here's we got um oh yeah my camera ran out like a quarter of the way through so i tried to do as much narration as possible sorry i couldn't get a lot of the ride um it's really beautiful if you can get to the, to the megaphone and look out it's worth it's worth the view okay that it, it's a lot of hard work to get there though okay it's a lot of desert you have to be pretty pretty accomplished desert rider to do it okay <laughs> he's a mega all right okay i'm all right riding in the desert all right i know my way around i will say and and gps make sure you have a gps and and yeah if you can bring a buddy with you to help you out just in case something happens um and bring water it was a lot lo it was a lot more difficult ride than i thought it would be you know the um the ride this morning to Mo on the mojave road was much easier than this dude because I was just chilling on the trail. This one, you know, there's so much sand, you can't relax, you know? Yeah, improvements? Yeah, I, I feel like the rear shock on that KLX, I need to work on it. It needs, it needs some kind of work. Um, I can I can, uh, I can, can make up for it by, by trying to do a wheelie over everything, but um, that, you know, I feel like if I had a better shock, the bike would be much better. Because like, if you try to sit down, it's boom, it just bottoms out, you know? Or, or just, it's just wet noodle, okay? And there's nothing else I can do to make it stiffer right the way it is right now. So, okay, so the yeah the saddle right now not good in the desert. Um, and people told me yeah you need better dampening on that rear the rear of the bike. So, um, I, I think we're gonna have to work on that this year. <laughs> okay, but yeah the Kalex did great. I'm really happy with it. Um, I, I feel like I'm pushing it to the limit already. I, I kind of like it's probably time to get a new bike, man. A new another girt, maybe get a smoker or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had a whole lot of fun. Uh, what other improves is, uh, yeah, just um, follow the GPS, follow the road, the GPS tracks, man. 
Uh, oh yeah, don't follow the phone. Don't follow the phone. Doesn't tells you how to get there, but you can't thing. You know. So yeah, um, I kind of got lost. But if I if I I knew I had my GPS, if I just rode towards the waypoint, it would be okay. Okay. And then I wasn't expecting to jump any railroad tracks. I was hoping there was going to be a railroad crossing. Mm -mm, there wasn't no railroad crossing. <laughs> None that I could see at, at Crucero. Okay, Crucero is actually on the freaking map. It, it looks like you could just drive there in a car, you know, but no, that's that, that is a case of death by GPS, okay? So um, if you think you can get there in like a Honda Civic or something, don't do it, man. It's, it's a lot of sand you will get stuck. So um, you need a serious off-road vehicle, like a side-by-side, -side, a dirt bike, a quad. A quad would be perfect, dude. Well, yeah, a quad would be perfect. I think that's what I would ride out there. Or a side-by-side. -side. It'd be more relaxing than the dirt bike. Dirt bike was definitely a workout, okay? All right, here's the go.